Uh, by the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful greeting to all of my colleagues and good morning to all of you. Uh, in the first day, we spoke about the, huh, what is this? Search map, okay, and we spoke about how many stages? Three stages. Three stages. Okay, pre-research, post-research, and research. What the map starts with? Search area. What ends with? Submitting. Submitting the article into scientific journal. Okay, what about to speak today about the core of huh, research? Yes, the research stage, which is collection of data. As you see here, before collection of data, I recommend what? Yes, reading full text article. Why? To collect what? The variables. Okay, they collected the variable, the data that I will collect. I said to you the frequent mistake that I referred from, that referred from many of my colleagues, they forget, they forgot many variables and then they had to go again in their research to get maybe one or two variables again. So, before the collection of data that I will speak today, I strongly recommend you to do what? Reading, Reading full text article. Make sure that you collected all the variables before going to the collection of data. Which program that helps in this matter? SBSS. What does it mean SBSS? What it stands for? Statistical Package Social Science. Th this is the, the name and I think the name reflects the initial use. It was used initially for social science. And uh, after that it's, it, it's become famous for health science and marketing and business. And uh, since 2015, the, the name changed to IBM SPSS. Okay. Uh, I'm happy to share with you a personal experience with mine. In 2008, when Dr. Yasser Osman, my professor in neurology, asked me to collect the data about 300 patients, a certain kind of renal tumor, I didn't have enough knowledge real at the time about SPSS. And after I collected, like, I did the paper sheet first, and then after I collected like 30 or 50 paper, I went to the, I started to do SBSS and unfortunately it didn't match the SBSS. So I had to return again because I didn't code. Just for example, I write complaint and I left the complaint open. No, you have to code for SBSS. For that reason, I recommend good knowledge about, basic knowledge about SBSS before collection of the data. I spoke about, huh, which is strategy? Step yes. Your mind can tolerate a lot of knowledge in biostatistics and SBSS at a time. But what about to the... Is it a good idea? Okay. Number one is, what is requested number with the first job you have to know is, what do you think? Okay, creating, creating a data sheet first on SBSS. This is the first job. People really preoccupied with analysis which is really advanced. I'm not, I'm not bothered if you bring for me the SBSS data sheet which is perfectly nice. I can do for you the analysis in 30 minutes or one hour. Provided that the SBSS perfectly, the data perfectly collected and the SBSS data sheet is perfectly done. Please don't bother with the analysis on SBSS now. And if you wanted to uh, analyze, if you wanted to learn analysis, you have to learn the basic analysis first. Just I, I intended to make a gap between huh, job number one, which is? And job number three, which is? I intended to put a gap here, which is really missed by most of the people, which is managing data. Most of the people, after finishing the data sheet on SBSS, went directly to analyze. And then after analysis, they discovered a lot of missing points. So in, in, in managing, formatting the data, we have to check for any missing file. We have to recode, we have to compute, we have to, um, for example, compute between dates. Again, what jo what's job number one? Huh? Ahmad? Creating a data sheet. This is number one. Number two, managing, and finally, the analysis. Okay. On going to SBSS, the first job on SBSS, if you put any variable on SBSS, SBSS asks you which kind of variable. What do you think? 
What are the kind of variable? Huh? How many? Three. Huh? Nominal, categorical, and numeric. Okay? And so, SSS, by the way, it is a, a professional program. It is a, a statistical program. If you, if you want to work on SSS, you have to have... So let's, um, because SSS will ask you first, which kind of variable, just a quick review about the hmm, types of variable. How, yes. If, look, first look for, if, if the variable has huh, number or not, if it has number, it will be numeric, like what? Hmm. Age, uh, height, blood pressure, weight, creatinine, homoglobin, exactly. And then, if, it, if it's not numeric, look for hierarchy. If, if it has hierarchy, it will be ordinal, like what? Too much stage, too much grade, exactly. If it doesn't have hierarchy, it will be nominal, like gender, any yes or no, exactly, perfectly. Those, uh, this slide will help me now on SBSS. Uh, on working on SBSS, some people uh, start with SBSS directly. Uh, personally, in my personal experience, I did more than 10 sheets on SBSS. I prefer to start with paper sheet first. Go to a Microsoft Word and design or collect all the variables provided that it is SBSS compatible. Okay? What does it mean compatible? So, coded. Nothing left. Uh, it should be coded. So, it should be choices. Choose number one, number two, number three. I prefer always to pilot my paper sheet. So after I create, I created this paper sheet, what I usually do is print at least five or 10, from five to 10, and then I go to, to, the, data, to the, the, the data itself, and then I verify if I missed something or not. I verify if I did something wrong or not. 99% of the time, I changed the, the, data, the data sheet. 90% of the time I had to pilot and print another five copies or maybe twice or four times until repeat the pilot the paper sheet many times until no major change. At the time you can start working on SBSS or creating SBSS library. Okay, let's start now the practical session for how to create SBSS library. As I explained before, to understand and master SBSS well, please follow yeah, a step-by-step -step strategy technique. Uh, first, learn first how to create a data spreadsheet and then learn the second the job managing the data and please keep analyzing the data to the end. Those will be kept on the next lectures and let's work now on creating a data spreadsheet. Um, I kept those files for uh, demonstration and before starting, I'm interested to show to you a, a final version of SBSS after we entered all patient's information, patient data. Uh, just to see uh, this, uh, how it looks. Uh, this is SBS um, after we finished. This is the data view and this is the variable view. This is a variable view that we supply the SBSS with. And after supplying the, those variables, we entered the data and you see here the hospital number, patient name, three dates, date of admission, date of um, uh, the procedure which is angio, and date of the charge, and then height, weight, hemoglobin, creatinine, and all of those. Okay, um, let's start from scratch. Let's open a new uh, data file and uh, uh, we're going to demonstrate how to create a spreadsheet. Here is the variable view and then we're going to enter now and supply the SBSS with variables. So as I explained before, the uh, importance of creating a spreadsheet on Word first. And here I worked on this spreadsheet. Uh, I piloted many times and then I didn't go to the SBSS until I made sure that this uh, uh, Word sheet is fine, no mistakes. Nothing because uh, simply if there is a mistake here you have to change on SBSS. Please take your time on the worksheet. 
and it has to be yes s bis s compatible so you see coding here one two one two three zero one coding so um just uh, i am going to close this one and just i kept a small sample of, uh, of variables let's work on first okay so uh, uh in most of the cases sbss doesn't accept the copy and paste so if i uh, put here uh, control v nothing control v nothing so we have to write we have to write patient okay i'm going to make an, an, an intentional error now Na patient number okay enter doesn't accept no doesn't accept why because there is no spaces the sbss doesn't accept spaces here so you have to write patient dot okay number okay and then enter and then keep keep uh, those until i explained now okay just i'm going to include this one okay uh, uh just keep this one i'm just i'm going to fill um now height which kind of height IHT. okay yes numeric scale change it and this is here decimals if you want to decimal so for example if i write uh, height here 175 okay it, it comes like with two decimals if you wanted to take them out just come here and make them zero and then um, the second uh, the third one the same uh, also scale okay if you want to keep this uh, the decimals or if you want them and then and then a gender which kind of variable yes nominal because it has options and no hierarchy here okay so i will write a gender enter and as you go here to the menu change it to nominal yes and as you put nominal you have to come here to the values and to identify them one for male yeah female always like it to be number one okay <laughs> and uh, two for uh female and then add okay uh, and just to click okay and then go to hemoglobin hemoglobin hemo hemoglobin enter and then what kind of variable is it scale uh you here i i want to decimal probably it is 12.5 so i want decimal here one decimal okay and then uh, ultrasound which kind of variable is nominal ultrasound ultrasound okay or ultrasonography nominal i want just to put here done or not done so for anything which is no okay or yes or no for for usually we put no first and we usually give no like zero so not done i will make it zero okay not done okay so add and then number one is done okay uh add suppose that you wanted to change this one okay to number one okay and then th this one to number two i come here for example and then make it uh, number one i make it i will make it number two and then click change it will be changed and then go to this one and click number one and a uh, make it to change change it okay those if you want to change the you know the variables uh and then here uh hydrogen froses you see here mild to moderate market here is hierarchy i will write hydrogen froses and if roses enter and then it's ordinal and then i have to identify then i have to identify the values number one for um, mild and then add number two for uh, moderate and then finally number three for market hydronephros and then uh, uh, date yes it's tricky date of admission date has a special concern or a special format date admission yes so here um, keep those as a default just in date it change the date into yes date yes go to date and as you click here uh, many formats open you can uh, ch choose what you want you can start with days you can start with months it's up to you i will start here with days okay and then uh, let's try here you see here if i write one march which is three okay 19 you see yeah it understood as march if i write one two okay yes february you can use here dots or dash but not slash you can use dot or dash but not slash 
okay so there a uh, date has a special format and please put it on its format to be included on the analysis otherwise you can't subtract or you can't calculate between dates okay you can for example can't calculate uh, the hospital admission the the uh, the, uh, the duration of follow-up so you have to put the date on its format and finally here just uh, i just keep this one to the end patient's name there is no apostrophe on sbss also okay so no apostrophe good variable view just write uh, patient okay patient dot uh, patient name and here's a string what does it mean string like chain okay it's open no options okay make it like 30 40 what you want so patient name and then i can come here to write the patient name if, if you are if the patient name for example muhammad muhammad okay is important finally here note if you want to add any note okay also it will be a string change it to a string and also i will make here uh, an intention error which is common by uh, many people okay okay and then just to go here and then just write patient for example patient okay didn't patient you see it not, doesn't doesn't accept why because we have to increase the width so go here to the width and increase it as you want okay and then now it accepts for example follow up okay enter okay uh just a few things here common uh by uh, most of the um, uh, most of the beginners uh where is the gender for just if you write here one enter it comes automatically like male if you write two it comes like female so you can enter your data by this way okay so quickly okay enter yes quickly so uh just i'm going and on 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 the beginning on installation of the sbss sometimes here the value uh, doesn't appear why just to go to this um this icon value labels and just to click here you know this is a frequent error uh done by many of the beginners okay returning back to the valuable view label so um just if you i'm just i'm going to show to you those variables on the analysis you see here look here okay no label here suppose that if you wanted to label uh, here like patient here is you can it uh, accept spaces id that's okay here homoglobin i will give it this um, label and i will go to the ultrasound i will give it that i will i will give it this label just now go to uh, again and i'm going to show to you them you see here patient id comes first ultrasound come us comes first and hemoglobin as label comes first so you can use here the uh, label and it accepts so uh, suppose that i want to add here the height centimeter for example okay just i'm going now uh, also to make an intentional another error common by many people if you want to add um, a variable here so suppose that you have the height by centimeter and if you want to add another height with meter so go here under height and then click insert variable and then write height okay and just stop here first and then hi if you click enter now it doesn't accept why because it's a duplication you see it doesn't accept so you have to write you go to for, for this example you can write that centimeter and then you go to this one i write height meters and then write height meters okay um it's clear now so uh okay so about that you want to drag one you want if you want to drag this one up easy can take it and then put it up like this it drags up if you wanted to drag it down okay so you can you can uh, drag up or down as you want and summary I, I gave you three two nominal okay two nominal uh, gender and ultrasound male and female not done done and one uh, ordinal or categorical mild moderate severe uh, okay and also i put some stress on date format because it's important and also i gave you to another example of a string or a chain those will not be included on the uh, analysis um, uh, thanks for having me in and see you next lecture on managing data thank you